Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man, Legacy the Prince. Yo, DJ B Boy, you want to build it, man? You say, know. Yo. Yo. Yo, man, it's the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show, man. Broadcasting live from GH3 Radio, God's House of Hip Hop. How about that? Yes, sir. ATL's number one home for CHH Land Hip Hop, Gospel Hip Hop Music. Listen, man, I'm super excited, man. We've been having a super dope, awesome weekend. And man, we got some really, really dope guests in the building with us. Facts. I am super excited to uh, uh, interview them. You know what I mean? I've been hearing so much dope things about them. And I need to get caught up, clearly, because I've been <laughs> under a rock somewhere. But every time this name comes up, it's like, yo, what you mean you don't know about? Mm, I'm like, that's like bro, don't do that. It, <laughs> I'm like, don't do that, man. You know, players mess up, you know? <laughs> nah, man, I've been slipping, 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 man. But listen, man, we got the super dope, awesome. The Cofields are in the building, DJ. What's up, y'all? Yes, sir. What up, dope? What's going hey. on? Oh, yeah, that's Detroit. That's Midwest. <laughs> yes, sir. That's Midwest. Yes, sir. What up? Yeah. Ah, man, glad to have y'all. Glad to have y'all, yo. Blessing to be here, Honor family. Be. You say y'all from where now? Detroit. 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 What yes, part sir. of Detroit, though? North end for me. I'm That's for the like the north end and the east side. Eight miles. Eight miles. For real? That's where you from? Eight miles? No. Uh, west side. I'm just asking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything when about When you say Detroit. west side, what that mean? Because like, we on the west side too. So so on the west side of Detroit, I mean, I'm from Joy Road part. So yeah, yeah. I'll, that's a couple miles away from eight miles. Probably oh. like. Five, six miles, something like that. I really that. don't know what eight miles is, really. So that's cool too. <laughs> you <laughs> you yeah, Eminem thing. I got yeah. you. I got you. Okay. Midwest. I'm from the Midwest too. So it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you guys been married? Six years. Yes, sir. Sheesh. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank man. you. Y'all passed that. five years. Yes, sir. We did. We made it. Is that true? The five it was years. Good. The first five. The first five was tough. People that, tried to tell us, is that, that what you about to say? Yeah, that, People be coming for us like, oh yeah, y'all gotta watch out for this and that. That's not our story. Mm. So it's been smooth, you know? So what is the story? How'd y'all, how'd y'all, how'd y'all meet? How'd y'all you go that? first. This is all okay. icebreakers. We about to get to the yes, real sir. stuff in let's, a minute. Let's break the ice. I mean, uh, my cousin, he's a dancer. Uh, so he was, we was at the college uh, back then. You okay. said what? Like Crump? No, nah, he's like a- Modern jazz ballet. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Modern jazz ballet. So at the university, <laughs> Wayne State off. University. <laughs> what a, what a, what a, the what a story with the sleeping. setting. <laughs> yo, he crunk like yo. He <laughs> 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 No, I'm just go ahead, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Y'all can see what's yeah, happening yeah, in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any dance, you say crook. <laughs> bro, you could have went bachata. You could have said African. African. Yeah, he do some African dance. Some crunk, African crunk. dance too. He came out of crunk. The most he, aggressive. He I didn't want to ask the other question. Professionally. Hey, 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 professionally. Hey. That was the safest question. Man, I, mean. I got you. Oh, so, God. long story short, <laughs> man, he was like, Man, because I've been telling him I was going to come to one of his dance uh, events. Yeah. So it was like, at this time, he was like, man, I'm we down at the college at Wayne State. We got one coming up. And I'm like, all right, cool. Man, I told you I would. I'm a man. I'm a word. I keep on word. Yeah. Boom. So we go. He said, all right, but, but first, before we go to my event, I told this young lady that I'm going to come back and do these auditions, these movie auditions. Mm. And with my wife. She, you can pick it up. I'm again. a casting director. I was studying film. Well, I studied film at Wayne State University. Hmm. So I was sitting at the registration table as a casting director when they arrived at the auditions. First thoughts. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> first thoughts? Yeah. My I mean, first thought is yeah, I mean, Would you like to audition for this movie? And he said no. He read over the scripts and stuff and. Um, you know, and he was like, nah, and I was like, okay, so like, why are you here? What are you doing here? And yeah. then he sat on my registration table. I'm like, okay, kind of wow, rude. disrespect. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And he don't want to audition. So, all right. Um, but what he did do is he started testifying. He was like, why would I want to audition for this? It was like a gangster movie or whatever. Why would I want to audition for this movie when I don't already live that life? Mm. And then he just started to spill out his testimony. And I was wow. just sitting there. I was all in like, wow. You fell for that? He was waiting for it. Yeah, he, he was, was waiting, waiting for it. Yeah. He was waiting. I'm about to say something else, but yeah, cool. yeah, I'm waiting. He was waiting. So I'm like, I was actually in a relationship when I met him, but oh, I knew I shit. didn't want to marry that 
person. Blood smell smooth. <laughs> so cold blood. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm so see this. he was. Uh, he stayed there for like a long time. The casting call was over, and he was helping to break down. Oh, so um, you got, I got her. I got her. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember being in the elevator with him, and we were like taking up this big whiteboard that had like the film auditions title on it or whatever. And I prayed that day in the elevator. I said, Lord, when I do get married, I prayed that I marry someone just like him. Four chairs. Put the tables <laughs> you so funny. <laughs> I said just like him, and seven months later, he yeah, popped back up. He popped back up. Oh, popped back up. Sat on the same the table. No, nah, long story short, uh, I was with one of my brothers, and we was going like towards downtown Detroit, and then we seen one of the guys that he knew. He was at the bus stop. He was like, "Hey man, uh, pull over real quick. I know him." So we start talking. Long story short, he like, "I'm going down to this Bible study." You know, and he was like, man, matter of fact, what y'all about to do? He's like, man, we ain't really got nothing up. We was just headed down towards downtown. He's like, man, why don't y'all just swing through? Uh, he's like, y'all ain't got to stay, but, you know, if y'all want to, just come drop me off, you know, meet them, da da da. They're good people. Yeah. Go, you know, and my wife, she walked, well, she wasn't my wife at the time, but she walks out on the porch, and I'm like, like, what? What's like, it? Man. You know, so long story short, you know, went, and then I had asked her, we was in there, I was like, because I thought she had remembered me, but she said she didn't, so. Like, yeah, he walked up on the porch. I'm like, it was him and his homies. He was like, hey, you remember me? I'm Calvin from Wayne State. I was like, yeah, I knew his face, but I didn't recall that moment. I only met him that one day in my you life. Prayed, you know, you, I did that prayer, but I feel yeah. like at that moment, it really, as I reflect on it, like God must have shielded who he was because I would have been acting way different. Like, oh my God, I don't know. Oh, for real? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, I don't know. So yeah, I was just being myself or whatever. We were having a praise party. There was a lot of young adults there, mm. um, single Christians. I used to have Bible studies at the house, and it was a barbecue. It was a holiday in September, so we were just having fun. I was um, dancing, rapping, singing, and stuff like that, playing the piano. We were having a great time, and he was just very low key. My husband could be very calm and low key. That's how he was, and I was like, okay. But then he called up a producer and put him on the phone. I was like, and he had me talk to his producer and everything like that, and we just. He kept doing little things, and I was just like, who is he? Like, who is he for real? Yeah. And I kept questioning that all, all the way until at the end of the night after everybody left. And I was like, so who was that guy? And then that's when it hit me. I was like, oh, my God. That was that one guy. That was Calvin yeah, from prayer. Wayne State. Yes, mm. that Calvin. I was like, oh, my God. Next time I see him, I'm going to be ready. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Yes, so, how, so how'd y'all get into uh, the music? And uh, around 2014, well, 2013, uh, God uh, had directed us to the producer JR. He mm -hmm. went with singer JR. Uh, he produced, so uh, uh, contacted him, uh, like heard one of the tracks, and was like, man, it's my fire, you know? So, and God said, scoop it up. So we did. Didn't know that, you know, it was going to be used for what it was used for. It was actually called Let's Move. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and my wife, we uh, collabed on it uh, and put it out. And at the time, you know, in my mind, I had so many insecurities and fears and things because I'm like, I'm super young at this. I had no connections. I have no, no nothing, you know, with music. All I just knew that God just told me to do this. So mm -hmm. we actually, I had fears of like, God, you know, who will want to listen to the music? How will we put this out? How will we get shows? And how we, I had all these going on the inside, you know, but did what uh, God said do, put it out. And then locally we start touring. You know, and then people start picking up. Next, you know, people start calling us, and it was like it just picked up from there. So, I feel uh, like I jumped mm -hmm. a big gap. All right, so let's let's, let's rewind. <laughs> yeah, go let's, back a little bit. Yeah, let's rewind. Cause I feel like I jumped right into it. Mm -hmm. Like, all right. So, what was what was you know what was life like prior and leading up to you know like getting saved and getting into the music I know situation? She, she just said that he used to you know. Well, you said to her that you used to be you know live that life. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I got saved, uh, uh, I actually got saved uh, January, uh, what was that? January 21st, 804 at night, 2006. So, I remember the time and place of day because that's how real it was. So, uh, but so now, fast forward, I met my wife. This is probably like 10 years afterwards, you know? So, it's like, so when I told her about the things that I lived, that was way, way, way back, you know? So, but um, what was the life like? Yeah, about that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we going in, brother. I mean, we street? diving in. You were thugging. I mean, I've never claimed <laughs> to be a street dude yeah. because I never like carried myself like that. But of course, I come from the hood. Like yeah. my wife, she was talking to me. Hey, you not from the hood, but you know, like <laughs> trying to make jokes and stuff. But yeah. like 
I never claimed none of this stuff, but sold drugs. I mean, carry guns, you know what I'm saying? Out here being shot at, being in all kind of crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Definitely know that I'm not supposed to be. Like, if it wasn't for God, mm. we was in so many right. situations to where it was like, even before being saved, it was like, in my mind, I'm like, how in the world did I just get out of this? Yeah. Like, how do you, you're beefing with a whole bunch of people. We in house, we was, man, we was in house parties doing all, it was, it was, it was just crazy. Yeah. We in a house party, some of the dudes we, we we beefing with, whatever. But we go outside, there's about 200 people out in the street. You go out in the street and you can't see the street, yeah. it's a whole bunch of people that's out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, to even get out of situations like that, you know, it's like, God, how in the world did this even happen? You know, but now come to find out, God had a plan for my life. So it's like, Amen. and actually being shot at, it's like, how in the, like, clear blank, like, not even 20 feet away, you know, it's like, just been in situations and things like that so i mean and of course it's a whole bunch of other stuff that you know you can't go into all details about yeah but, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you but, want you to know. but yeah but man just being in crazy situations you know so and i mean this this one thing that blew me away is when i sold drugs to my friend my best friend's mama dang you know what i'm saying like when she came out of nowhere now what hit, kind of drugs hold on it's like, like weed oh, you know weed. oh yeah. weed i mean but Little tree, man. That man, it ain't no little man. Your nah, best friend, mama, <laughs> come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so it's like, it's like little, a big little tree, man. Yeah. It's 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 still kind of mind blowing. Like, yeah. man, you know, I'm serving your mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's and then it's like I said, it's a whole bunch of stuff. I just can't go into super detail, can't but himself, you know, so. But I got you. you know. I got you. Was was what was how was the lifestyle for you coming up? Well, <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say, but um. You asked about music too, like early beginnings with music. I called myself a gangster rapper when I was a child. I was influenced by like Snoop Dogg and um, oh, shoot. a lot of rappers in the 90s and whatnot coming up. So I was like cussing, rapping and all of that coming up um, as a child, beatboxing, recording from cassette tape to cassette tape, I remember laying that. my tracks, you know what I'm saying, and battle rapping with my brothers and whatnot. Um, yeah, and I used to write R and B music as well. I used to have like groups with my friends and whatnot um, in the neighborhood, and I felt like I was gonna do some things with music. I just didn't know exactly what. Um, but at around the age of sixteen, I really got saved for real, for real in church. I got really, really involved. I started preaching and different things like that. Um, God was really turning my life around. And then by nineteen, He started to change my words, my lyrics from. Um, you know, gangster rapping and cussing and all that and battle rapping with the neighborhood to um to basically gospel. I started by playing piano. I was taking music classes at Wayne State University, learning how to play the piano, and he started to give me melodies and whatnot mm. to write gospel music. My voice doesn't really sound like this. I have a nodule on my vocal cords, but I love singing. Um Yeah, a nodule. Yeah, it's making my voice sound like this. Oh. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, I would do that. And then at the age of 19, I also started writing a rap as well. So gospel rap. But the music came first. Like okay. as far as like Melody, contemporary yeah. Christian music. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing this for a very long time. I guess, yeah. Because I'm in my mid-30s now. I was You're about right. to ask you your age, but it's cool. Yeah. I didn't want to do that. I'm 36. So good. Yeah. 95. Yeah. Time is flying. Yes, sir. I'm out there too. Boy, this man savage boy. So, I was about to ask you that. You know no, I was going to ask her because I was going to ask him and then, you know, process I'm of elimination. Good. You know? I don't feel no type of way about the age thing. I never did. Not at all. That's good. So, okay, <laughs> fast forward. Well you, well, you say how you got into the music too, right? No, I didn't. How did uh, you get into music? Man, it was doing secular radio. I mean, secular music. Um, we was just about to, me and some of my guys, we were just about to get, like, deep into it. And, uh, <laughs> Like, we was about to get deeper to the streets, deeper to the music. And then, you know, just before making those decisions, those life-changing decisions, that's when God uh, saved my life. So Wow. Yeah. But I was still doing it in the world. You know what I'm saying? Loved it, you know. Mm -hmm. But got saved, and then I actually stopped doing it for a minute, but then God told me to pick it back up. So that's exactly what I did and started doing it for him. How do y'all prepare yourselves as a, as, a, as a unit to go into the studio? Do y'all kind of, like, write separate? Like, how do y'all prepare yourselves? I would say the scenarios like? are different per song. So, for example, our latest song, Royalty, 
um, was inspired by different things. Calvin has a story about how he got um, the melody and everything for the chorus and things like that. I'll let him speak to that. But I was sitting at home on maternity leave. I just had my baby and I was holding royalty in my arms and I wrote this verse based on motherhood and the feeling that it brought to me and about how God brought this prophecy to um, pass. I can go into details about the prophecy about how he said first would be the house, the car, and then the baby and just just seeing what God did just really inspired me at that moment. I didn't know which beat it was going to go to. So sometimes I get the um, the inspiration to write the bars before I know what track is going to go on. Mm. And it actually just worked on royalty. I was like, I hope it goes with royalty. I hope it goes on a song because it's about my baby, you know. Mm. And then it matched up. So, so our last uh, two songs that we released, I'm Straight, was just kind of the same way. Yeah. Like, uh, had a track and uh, listened to it. And then I actually heard my, my wife like rapping just rapping and actually you know, I'm like I was like I need a beat for this verse I was like hold on I think I got a track for that you know so we released that back in uh was that 18 17 yeah 18, 2018 like that. but like my wife said uh, with royalty uh back in 2019 God I was driving and then uh next you know like I'm listening to this uh a track I don't even remember what it, uh, the song was but then next you know all I hear is this this I now t to be the chorus of the, of the song so it's like Hey, you know your royalty. Who's who's singing the chorus? Uh, we got Luke, Luke G. G. I, I figured that was Luke G. I know yes, that boy voice anyway. So did he? Did y'all? He, pro he produced it too, or you? No, my my guy, our brother Ty Throne, Throne Music, Music Johnson, Johnson. Detroit, in Detroit. So how y'all connect it. with Luke G? Well, we met him in Atlanta uh, a few years ago at one of K. Joe's events. Actually, it was at the Free Life Church. Shout mm -hmm. out to K. Joe and the family, yeah. and the Free Life family. So um, he actually made a, um, a jingle for my radio show. I had a radio show a couple years ago, yeah. and then he um, did the jingle. So when Calvin was like, we need somebody to sing this hook, who should we get? And I was like, what about Luke G? He was like, yeah. He just hopped on to the I know, guy. He so killed it. Smashed. I was like, he started adding extra layers and stuff. I was like, oh my god, he yeah. started, you know, in the pockets. Like I was like, wow. Yeah, Luigi a beast with that. He is. I've seen this recording process. I was like, bro, this is yeah like, ridiculous. Boy, so he mixed and mastered stuff. the track. You know, I was like, oh, you can do that. Mm. He did his thing. Yes, sir. And, and then, I, that song is dope. Super dope. The other half of that is uh, I had a dream. Uh, guy gave me this dream. I was like at a concert and I was in the crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm in this crowd and then one of our sisters we know to be playing uh, piano she was she just played a sustained note in a dream and then uh, actually Chandler Moore he came out on the stage and uh, he actually started worshipping to it you know and these was the words that he said he said this is a call he was kind of talking it worshipping it he was like this is a call to every nation everyone big and small this is a chance to take your places before that final trumpet call hallelujah 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 so I'm about to cry in, in a dream and then I wake up. So then long story short, we in the studio maybe a couple months later and we with my brother Todd and so I'm asking God, they didn't, like my wife and him didn't notice at the time and I'm like, God, we got these two parts that still need to be filled on the song. Like, mm -hmm. we ain't got it, you know? And then, so we got done recording our verses and then we was about to wrap up the session and then my bro was like, hey, uh, you ain't gonna put that part in there? I'm like, what? What, 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 what you mean? And then he said the words, and I'm like, oh, and it fit perfect right in there. Wow. So it was like, God gave all the inspiration to the song. He gave the, the chorus to it in 2019, so he was dealing with us about the song, but I didn't know he was gonna finish it up when we had our daughter. Yeah. And I didn't know that he was actually gonna tell us to name our child royalty. Yeah, we were trying to pick a name for a minute, and we were like going back and forth. I'm like, I had a name. He's like, nah, God didn't say yes on that. And I was like, we already knew we were gonna come out with the track royalty, and our, al our EP album or EP royalty and I was like wouldn't it be sweet if we named our daughter royalty too you know That's it. and he said God said yes I said gave us yeah. the okay she's like finally exactly. I know she, she I'm not about to head. keep calling my baby baby <laughs> Kofi I was like we know it's a girl now I need a name yeah. <laughs> The baby got here. They got the song playing. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Royalty loves the song, hey. too. She yeah, be turning it up, up in the drama, man. <laughs> Go Royalty. Yes, sir. Hey, check it out. We're about to release that video. It's a shot like that. That's in there. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Like the the yes. Don't sleep on the prophet. <laughs> We call it the Lion King Lion shot. King yeah. Yeah. Simba. Yeah. Simba. Exactly. Right. Simba. <laughs> yep. What's yes, the sir. what's the biggest challenge you have uh, experienced as far as being married and in, in doing ministry together? Mm. Man, it's actually been a, a blessing because everywhere we've been going, man, from the who's or who's to 
whoever, you know, been telling us like, man, this is a true blessing to see a husband and wife actually being together in ministry. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them be saying like, man, I wish my wife would be with me. We heard or the other so ladies to say, I wish my husband was with me mm-hmm. doing this, you know? So it's like for mm-hmm. God to actually bless us to be in the same realm and be in the same spirit, same mind, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. it's a straight, con- like it's, it's just all around blessing. Like we can be Definitely. on the road, still can create. We still can, we do everything together. So it's like super yeah. dope. And yeah. I do feel, um, on this side because before like we were married and I was out there rapping and doing things single I do feel now like I'm covered you know right. because yeah, yeah. you, you talk to, to the women about the different things that we go through as women how about in ministry how about anywhere but I do feel like I'm covered now because I have my husband with me do you think so. it was a lot easier to uh, to coexist in the music world because you both had a passion for music for instance like my passions are a little bit different from my wife's passions um, she's not she's not the out front like let me get in front of a microphone let me do this let me do that um, sh- she's a visionary in a different type of way so it's like it I don't say it's a clash but it's just like we, we just it's just different you yeah. see what I'm saying we yeah. extremely that's my biggest cheerleader yeah. like oh where are we about to do that you about oh yeah do it yeah, I, I believe it. I know you can do it you know what I mean but mm-hmm. do you think it was easier because both of you had a passion for music already and it was you know, it was even easier to coincide that way. I would say yes, music and a whole bunch of other other things. So yeah. we do music together, we do film, we shoot videos together, we do the lighting together, we do almost everything together. So I just feel like the Lord just hooked that whole thing up in general. Or do you think it's because you guys were already doing it before you got married? Because sometimes, sometimes when you, my situation was different too. Like I didn't start DJing until after I was married. So then that's when a lot of stuff like me come, oh, I'm about to go over here, you know, not, not necessarily being home all the time, doing something other, you know, doing other things. So you think this because you guys were already involved in what you were doing before and it just meshed together afterwards? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think if it was like a perfect fit glove. It's like the hands yeah. still need the glove, the gloves still, you know, yeah. need to cover the hands. So it was like, like my wife said, <laughs> to be a, a, a covering, you know, it's like, and it's also a cover for me as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because being out here in this industry, we come to learn that, man, there's some sharks out here. It's like there's nice. people and they straight going for blood. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's like, have y'all experienced that? Man, personally. I'm about, oh I'm about yeah, to tell you, it got real. Right like, like, oh my like, God, so, tripping, it's man, the gospel. They, they be so, they be so, man, they be so savage mode to where they would do it in each other's face. Like, I remember we went to South by Southwest yes. and there was this Jamaican guy who came into the, like elevator we, it, was, it was us and our manager <laughs> it wasn't me leave me alone so we <laughs> yeah, but, 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 no, like, but no 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 nah. i think it, i think it might have been like a cultural thing though because right, i'll let you like know. But, <laughs> but but still it's like it's still boundaries you still you know yeah. don't cross so we we get in the elevator you know and this dude he he looks at my wife and he almost went into like a trance like he i was had there? these long fake locks in right yeah, and then he came he from right me. Like, we yeah, were yeah. all in the like, elevator. Our, okay. our manager and him and my yeah. So he came towards this me. dude almost in the trans type, and he said, <laughs> "Oh, you're so beautiful. Just you're like, so beautiful." And like he was about to like, like touch my wife, like and going from my hair. Like, and I told my manager, I was like, "You're about to see him get knocked out right here in this elevator." Like, and we just stepped, and stepped right over him. Yeah, you told pool. the manager that? Man, I smacked his hand down. Well, I yeah. told him. That. And our manager no, was like, "What was wrong with him?" This this after the fact. Oh, this after the fact. No, at the time I smacked his hand i was like man what are you doing uh, almost about this like those man. exact words yes sir bro. Uh, like, he, uh, did, uh, bro. he did he like, did no, no it was way worse than that that's what i'm saying oh, it okay. wasn't no cussing but oh. it was like straight like i'm not playing with you you know yeah. what i'm saying like it real type thing like did he snapped his... back out of reality no, he, 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 did. Did. Yeah. he almost looked yeah. like he snapped out of the trance like uh, it was crazy like it was and it was a couple people at south by southwest they were just like coming for me i was like like what is going on tripping People just out here, you like, man, people out here about, like, and don't get it twisted. The man. same thing with the women. The women ain't yes. trying to do some straight disrespectful they stuff have. right in front of my wife. I'm like, yeah. in front of you? This is my yes. wife. Yes. People be tripping. Man, they don't care. Like you like you they don't respect. Like gangster, for real. <laughs> man, they be out here clowning. Like, you like, you'll turn out. Like, man, they be out here clowning. And I thank God for actually giving us the personalities oh he's God. given us because easily it could have turned to something totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we didn't have like God in our lives you know what I'm saying like not even being on old man you know if God wasn't in my life you know but like seriously like if God really wasn't in our lives these situations could have been escalated real quick you know what I'm saying Sheesh. like period you yeah know? I, I tailgate in heaven so I ain't that safe yeah, yet bro. I, it this I guy would, man tailgate I would have definitely see y'all would have never knew <laughs> until you said something <laughs> man. it would have been a problem he's always talking about he's gonna be in the nosebleed <laughs> 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 
I'm gonna be on the front row, bro. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. When we yeah, all. So. Oh yeah. They've been clowning. But wow. I thank God for it though. Yeah. I have a question. We have an answer. <laughs> I want to make sure you have an answer to He's in the trance. Yeah, I'm in the trance. <laughs> but I'm looking up here. I'm up there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking at your wife. I ain't looking at you either. No, we ain't worried about you, cuz. Right, uh, <laughs> you, I had conversations with you about what y'all laughing at? The, the trans, and then you talking about like, some, I ain't looking at you. Nah, because I was trying to see what direction I was going to go in. You guys said you guys do pretty much the music together. Yeah. You guys have a business as well. I know we business. talked about yes, a little bit. Um, so y'all guys just totally do everything. Business. Yes, sir. Tell us about your businesses. Sis, uh, sis, sis, two of them. We had uh, yeah. five. I don't know. Twenty-five. For Fifty. Oh, of course we got to take care of our music business together. You yeah. know, so uh, music, um, videography. We got uh, our own light company. Mm -hmm. um, we actually are uh, doing lights for the show tomorrow. Uh, the Spin Awards. So okay, but, clothing um, lines, clothing. Um, royalty, royalty. Baby. I see royalty. This is the newest one, baby. Yeah. Royalty about to launch her line, but yeah, I have a clothing line called I Love My Heritage. Emphasis on the word hair. Yeah, I'm about to say natural yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. yeah, natural hair. Uh, you know, support and natural hair. Shout out to the froze and the natural hair in the room. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. And the brothers too Because yes, they did come to me And they said yeah, You know sorry. They started coming for me like, always trying to Guys can love their there. heritage too I was like Your You know what you BZ right looking crazy. Like, So I did on. expand the line To also include Men, women, and children <laughs> <laughs> He loves his heritage too hey, I, thought you looking like you. Well, my, I thought you were looking like I thought you Oh you got a yeah, beard The natural beard the beer. I, I wasn't trying to hurt you We love you BZ Shout out to BZ Yeah BZ the guy Yes sir Oh yes, sir I come fast too. But, uh, <laughs> he do what? It loads real you say you come fast. What you say? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> but uh, also, uh, we got a uh, like my wife said. You know her her radio uh, show. Uh, we about to actually look and go on the TV as well. So. Okay. I mean, it's it's just so much that's going on with us right now. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin had a clothing line too. It's directed path, and path is an him. acronym. An acronym. People anointed through him. Directed wow. people anointed through him. Yeah. Who's the spender? Who we both spend. Yeah. Who's the spender though? Man, we both. It, it depends on what day it is. Oh, wow. And what we trying to get? We make a that's lot. We spend a lot. Yeah. So, uh, what is, gotta invest? What yeah, is? What yeah, is that's right now. That's real. What is some of the, uh, mm -hmm. advice you can give, like? Couples that are, you know, trying to get it, like, get in the ministry together and yeah. trying to flow in that kind of, because it's not for everybody. It's not. So what kind of advice can you give some do's, some don'ts, some things to, like, you know, these are some good tips to, uh, you know, focus on. These are some good traits to make sure you shine some light on. Stay, from, stay away from these types of things. Like, what are some, some good information you can give? Because I would, you know, I would think it, it, it's difficult. It's marriage. So... <laughs> marriage is difficult in some areas by itself but then now you're coinciding business you're coinciding and it's just whew. I feel like it makes it better though that's the funny part because we have I have a day job you know so sometimes it's like I feel like I'm spending more time with my husband while we're out here traveling and whatnot I look forward to these moments I teach. I'm a teacher. I teach ninth grade algebra. But one of the things that I would um, give advice about is listen to one another. Take time to hear what your husband or wife has to say. Um, make sure that you acknowledge one another. Be patient yeah. with one another. Pray for one another mm. and pray with one another. Prayer is definitely very, very important. Mm. Yeah. What about you, sir? Uh, um on everything, you got to be led by God. Yes. Like, if if you're doing things just by yourself, it's going to fail every time. Mm. So, but if you're out here and you're doing what God tell you to do, no matter even if you don't understand the outcome or if you don't even see, the word of God says that we walk by faith and not by sight. So we can't actually look at our with our natural eyes and say, this is what this thing is. We actually got to go and actually filter everything through the word of God and what God is saying to you. Mm. So it's like... You have to listen to God on every single aspect of your life, like from the so-called big things to the so-called small things, like nothing is too big and nothing is too small. So it's like uh, even based off in the, the word of God, like AI was the smallest, smallest city and they whooped the children of Israel who had thousands and thousands and thousands of troops, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because they didn't consult God, you know what I'm saying? So everything you got to, you got to take it before God. 
So <laughs> that <was> a distraction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just saw some yellow just crawling yeah. across the room. <laughs> like, look, <laughs> Shout out to the fam. Love y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody headed to the crib. Mm-hmm. It's a busy day tomorrow. You guys got to do rehearsal too. Yeah. Got to get up there. No, man. But um, t- tell us about um, what y'all have coming up as a team. Like, I'm, I'm curious because my my wife and I started working as a team as far as with, with the business like recently. And I'll just, I'll have to really say that it's been a truly it's been truly a blessing because mm-hmm. she keeps up with all yes, the calendars and all the stuff yes, me i was double booking myself sometimes and mm-hmm. you know then i'll book myself but i forget to tell my wife because mm-hmm. i just be more on the move mm-hmm. and she's and, and uh got into a lot of arguments about that yes know? sir and she had to straighten me up and i and i, and I admit that she was right but um mm-hmm. what you guys what you guys are experiencing i'm like coming into that right now Mm-hmm. You know, when it when it comes to her, she's a playwright, director, and producer, mm-hmm. writer, English teacher, all that professional development. So mm-hmm. y'all probably get along cool. Yeah, I was like, okay. she don't like math though, but uh-huh. I do. I love math, bro. <laughs> but um, it's just been a great experience working with her. I've done it with her on her stuff because it's easy, mm-hmm. you know, for me. But when it comes for her coming in, it was a little uh, at first because it's like, hey, let me do my thing. It's like, you could be here, but let me just do my thing. So mm-hmm. just to hear what you guys are experiencing, um, you know, even just being able to travel with each other and doing this, it's, it's very inspiring. Mm-hmm. I look forward to the more journeys on that for us as well. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah, man. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, like, your reputation precedes y'all so much. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's such a phenomenal thing to, you know, like hear about the Cofields and then you're here with them and it's just like okay you had a journey you see how it's you know what I'm saying um, you see how it you know you've built what you have yeah. like two mm-hmm. separate worlds coming together just building yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying that's crazy don't feel any type of way man my wife got more jail time than me so it's yeah. wow I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my wife wow yeah. It's just wild. It's just wild girl. Wow. Like, you got locked up how many times? <laughs> and ain't none of it on your record? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She ain't got no she ain't got one of them. Nothing, bro. But God, them pictures she got on one Google. Of, she got one of, I've been looking for it. I couldn't find it. It's just, it's just gone. It's just gone. Oh, it's somewhere. Bro. It's just gone. It's just gone. That's that's crazy. That's wild. It's used to- what y'all, what y'all got coming out next, man? What's the next moves? What's the next vibe? You know what I'm saying? Next babe. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, that's, next baby. Yeah. So what? Not, no, it's not. I thought it was something else. I was like, yeah, <laughs> the first. <laughs> you heard you it here first. I was like, yeah, it's a boy. Right. Ah. <laughs> Got already told it. <laughs> well, <laughs> had the dreams. Right. Uh, we would have. They. I had an emergency C-section, so yeah, they told us we too. had to wait. They advised me to wait eight. Well, see, yeah, at least a year. The baby's almost a year. Ha! Ah, yay! Aww, She's chitty eleven chitty months. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, at least a year, up to eighteen months. So yes. Baby will be coming soon in Jesus' name. We also are working on some new tracks. One of them was with our brother, MC Nice. Oh, for real? Yes, sir. How'd you end up linking with Nice? Nah. Everything I touch is blessed. Actually, at the Hip Hop Awards. Nope. Yeah, and actually, before that. Last year? We, we were. Oh, this year. This year. Yeah. Oh, y'all just linked with Nice. We but just actually, we just met him met in him. person. But we, but we were. Yeah. yeah. Because we were booked to go to the 2020 Summerfest years ago, but oh, the pandemic, wow. we were going to be performing there in California at the Bank, the Los Angeles, the Bank of California. Bank of California. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. It was so, going to be there too. Yeah. yeah. So we were talking to him on the phone, but it was great to meet him in person yeah. at the awards this year. And then when we went to the awards, you know, we did our thing. And um, afterwards, he was like, man, it was good to see, actually see y'all in person, you know. And then he revealed some other stuff that was behind the scenes type thing going on. And he was like, yeah, man, we we definitely got to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And so, man, we actually, man, I actually thank God for MC Nice. Like, people was bigging him up and like, you know, and the word of God tells us that don't praise yourself but let other men's lips praise you. Mm-hmm. So it's like, we can praise our brother. We're not worshiping our brother, but right, we can right, praise right, him. You know right. what I'm saying? Especially like, man, when you give honor where honor is due. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? Because it's like, on some things, it's like, man, if it wasn't for the God connection that God made, we mm-hmm. wouldn't even be doing what we doing type thing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, but, Man, he didn't show so much love. Him and VZ, man, been number like family, yes. man. 
Like man, man I, I actually thank God for them, man, because it's not so it's not too many people in this industry who's willing to help people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's like and once you find those genuine relationships, those genuine connections, it's like, man, I I really don't wanna, you know what I'm saying, do nothing to taint it or mess it up type thing. Nah, it's like, right. man, you know, you, you wanna honor it and you know, keep your word type thing and do the mm-hmm. right thing, you know, and I thank God. I, I thank God for both of them, man, because, yes. like I said, it's a lot of sharks. That's how. It's so, shark. what are some mm-hmm. pieces of information that he talked to you guys about that you guys like really, like keep? keep man, up? one thing MC Nice schooled me on was a split, sh- a split sheet. Split you, sheet, really? Man. That's yes, the sir. first question. Man, <laughs> man. Y'all got split sheets, man? What? Do it up front. I, Don't do it on the back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tell everybody you know do it up front. Yes, sir. Do it up you front. Know, yeah. I knew of them, but you know, sometimes when. You know, you're kind of a novice to what you're doing in some aspects of it. You know, it's like you you may not have all the business, business you may not be yeah, all sense. business savvy and know every single thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, of course, it's cool to have people that you can call. You know, like I said earlier, you know, he number the phone call away. So it's like that was one of the things he dropped. Man, he didn't drop so much, so many nuggets on me. You know what I'm saying? One time it felt like it was almost like a history class. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, I was, and that's funny because I was just thinking that I got a chance to kick it with him today at the Spin Awards. He was giving my sister Kenosha, now shout out to Kenosha, whoa, whoa. but giving us some uh, history, like some music history today. Mm. West Coast version, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know he on West the West Coast. Coast sure. Yeah, because I grew up listening to like Double G, the Gospel Gangsters, and he was telling me about how those were his homies and everything like that. Got tracks with them and everything. And it just felt like a full circle moment just to hear the history from his perspective, too. Weird question. What separates the the, the Cofields from other gospel hip-hop artists that's out here? Or Christian hip-hop artists? Man, what separates I'm, them? I'm glad you asked that. I mean, it's the same guys. Same, you know, same spirit. Right? Man, like, I, but what separates y'all? Like, what's that mm-hmm. special thing that y'all got? Man, I'll tell you the truth, man. Uh, I was just talking to one of my brothers the other day. And uh, it was like, he came up to me. It was actually a guy... Um, he was like, man, I don't, I don't, he's like, I don't really resonate with everybody. Everybody just don't touch my spirit type thing. But when it do, you know, it's like, man, I, I rock with you, you know. So, so it was like, he was saying that how exactly that everybody is not the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, us, we want to do what God tell us to do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Period. No matter what it is. Like, whatever the sound is, we're not worried about trends. We're not worried about, man, if it's a banging beat, if it's this, if it's that or whatever. If God say bring that thing out. When we do what God tell us to do, then we see why he told us to do it. And mm-hmm. then next, you know, that's when the doors start opening and people start calling. And then people are wondering, how are you guys so blessed? You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? We're not trying to be followers. We're not trying to be trendy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, we actually setting trends out here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, and to be able to set trends, it's like, you got to go against the grain sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and some yeah. people not going to like it. Of course, it's over 8 billion people in this earth. Yeah. Everybody not going to rock with you. Mm-hmm. Everybody haven't heard of Fresh Leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Everybody haven't heard of the Cofields. Yeah. Everybody not going to like it. Everybody going to like your style. Some people come down and be like, man, I don't like them jokers, man. I don't listen to them. You know what I'm saying? Cool. You, know you know what I tell them? Mm-hmm. It spins. Hey, hey, numbers don't lie. It spins. Hey, numbers, numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's just about doing what God say. Exactly. So, you're going to always get the hate. You're going to always get the flack. You're going to get whatever. It comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we just do, we just strive to do what God tells us to do. And that even, even being here today, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some things back in past, like November, October, December, if we wouldn't have did what God told us to do back then, we wouldn't be sitting here with you guys today. You know what I'm saying? So it's like God told us to do some things, some plant some seeds, drop some deposits back then. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, we didn't know that this is what he had planned. If we would have missed those very things that God told us to do, we wouldn't have been walking in our very season that we're walking in now. And that's that's the beauty about like following and listening to God. Obedience. And yes, being obedient. Yes, sir. Like, and it be the wild. I said it earlier today. I'm like, yo, God be tripping sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, I'm like, you said what? Yeah, like, I know, right? Like, for real. Like, mm-hmm. that's how we talk. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? For sure. Be, to that yeah, natural man, it's like, man, like, yeah, what are you what? talking about? Psh, but then it don't make sense. And it's just like, yo, faith doesn't make sense. Not at all. And you can't make, and, and sense doesn't equate to you operating in, in faith. faith. Yes, sir. So mm-hmm. it's just like, is either you gonna do it or you're not gonna do it, bro? Could you but picture guess what? God telling you to go sacrifice your son or your daughter? Hey, oh no, nah. he can't tell me that. It don't make mm-hmm. sense at all. No, nah, he can't tell me that. We already had this discussion. Man, man bro, raise that knife and everything. <laughs> he did sacrifice your bro, son. It don't sound. It don't. It don't make sense. It's like, hold on, bro. bro what, what, what did you, you just say? What did you just? You said actually go up here and sacrifice my son. 
this is the promise that you didn't told me over years and years and years, and you know now you want me to me sacrifice to this thing. Now you that's want me to wild. sacrifice this thing. That's wild. So, but look at God. God still want to see your heart posture to see. Do you love this promise more than you love me? <laughs> I was talking to somebody one time, and it was like, "What would you do if God told you to do that?" I was like, "I'm gonna ask God and tell him straight up." I I thought you don't believe in abortions. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Stop it! Wow! <laughs> what do you mean? What? Do you, what? That's, wow. that, am it's I tripping, tripping or not? That's bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Bro. Wow. Bro. <laughs> you heard me that. <laughs> <laughs> technically not uh, abortion. Like, I guess you don't believe in abortion. Just, 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 what? <laughs> wow. Yo, that's, that's like, like, not, not what you going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have but mercy, Lord. Nah, man, trusting him is like, it's the most difficult thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but it's the most rewarding. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like, you spoke about Lincoln with Nice and VZ. Like, mm-hmm. since I met them in what, 2018? Mm-hmm. Like Dang. I was, I was literally like the li- I was literally the little brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the little brother. Yeah. Like everybody, I'm still the little brother. Still yeah. get on their nerves. Do all y'all go get this full flag? Yeah. Taking full advantage of it. You know That's what right. I'm saying? <laughs> but um, like just them taking me under the wings, man. Like yeah. and just mm-hmm. like nurturing and putting me on game and like mm-hmm. like VZ. Like there's nothing VZ can call me and ask me to do that's legal. There's nothing nice to wow. call yeah. and say, yo, leg, I need you to do X, yes, Y, and Z. And yes, I'm sir. like, no. Like, there's nothing. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And it's just when you trust God, you got faith in God, and you allow that, you allow him to navigate you, man. It always mm-hmm. works out the way it's supposed to. It's I mean, just a real quick story, real quick. Man, people didn't even know that me and my wife was laying on a mattress at, at the crib. You know what I'm saying? But we flying all over to go do shows and all kind of stuff. We speaking to, to thousands of people and yeah. doing doing all kind of stuff. And people didn't know the stuff that was even going on. So it's like, man, one time I pulled two dollars and thirty seven cent out of my pocket, and God said, "I want y'all to go to Atlanta." I'm looking at God like, <laughs> "Where we gonna get the money?" Mm. He didn't say, but he didn't say nothing about money. Then he goes right. solid, bruh. <laughs> like, bruh, I just put gas but, in your car. But he made gas. it happen. So check it out. We go to <laughs> Atlanta. We Fly. ended up meeting K Joe. Mm. K Joe put us on his radio station, bigged us up in front of a, a big crowd. So a whole, all these people in the crowd coming to us like, man, the cold field. Man, we about to put y'all on this and put y'all on that and put y'all on this and put y'all on that. So what if, what if I would have said, God, you know, we ain't got the money, yeah, or talk to it. my wife and say, babe, we ain't got the money. We do it next time. Yeah, <laughs> people always on this next time stuff for it, but really that next time is saying I'm scared. I'm really not trusting God. People don't really want to be real about it. They just want to make make excuses about it and try to cover it up with other stuff. But there's been things, literally, moments of obedience that we had to do at that time, and the circumstances was way, way crazy at that time. Right. But if we wouldn't have did it, we would not be walking in the very things that we're walking in right now. Right. Amen. Our very first song was called "Let's Move." We didn't know that God was speaking to us prophetically. We thought it was just a song. We didn't know that God was really about to have us moving. But what if, what if, what if, we'd say, you know, me with my insecurities and fear, oh, well, God, I, this ain't really my style and I, nah, I'm not bringing this out. Yeah. We wouldn't have be talking about royalty. We wouldn't be talking about them straight. We wouldn't be talking about these songs. We wouldn't be sitting here with you guys if we wouldn't have done the very first things that God told us to do. So sometimes we got to look at those little things. It's the little things. And God tell us not to despise small beginnings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, James 1 says count all things, Joy. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yes, he, ever, he ever came with like a crazy something that God told go. him and you go. was just like, mm-hmm. Man, you might want to go check again. You know, like, uh, anything? My wife hit me with something, bro. I was half asleep. The Lord told me to quit my job. All right, just that what He told you. <laughs> <laughs> now this is this is we we stand in her parents' house. I just got approved for a loan. I'm ready to go. The Lord told you to quit your job. I said, just don't. I said, all right. If that's what He told you to do. That's what he told you. I'm not about to get in God's way. And I trust my wife when she says she heard from God. And that's where I am. So when you say anything crazy, at the beginning, I would say I probably was more hesitant. But as time went on, 
Yeah, I just say, okay. If God said it, it then let's do yes, it. Sir. It's you working. It working. That's one it. after the other. That's after it. The other, that's after it. The other, exactly. After so it's like, like that's it. where He leads, I will follow. Amen. That's it. Yep. And sometimes we look at the beginning, even relationships, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, because we got people come to us and asking us questions about relationships. Like, it doesn't, like, like it doesn't start at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, we looking and thinking our wives is going to actually be this, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's automatically going to be submissive. She's automatically going to listen. She's automatically, like, man, what? <laughs> Were you, you got a you whole other thing coming. No. Like, but as they see... <laughs> That you're listening to God and actually the very things you're talking about come into pass. It's like now it's like, wow. Yeah, follow me it as I follow easier. Christ. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that was the most important thing to me as well as I was even thinking about marriage when I was single. That's why I counted out a lot of of those uh, suitors because I was like, nah, I knew that I would have to follow. I was like, I can't trust where you will lead me. I'm not trying to end mm, up in a ditch. Wow. So mm -hmm. I was disqualifying a lot of people because I was like, where are you going? You know, I don't see your vision. I don't see anything. Mm. But that's what I saw in Kevin. I saw a God in him. And I just needed to know that there was a solid foundation in the relationship with God um, where I would feel comfortable following my husband. Mm. I see that in my husband. Facts. I have no hesitation. Man. Amen. Facts. Like she said, it wasn't always like that, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're right. I come up in a single parent household. My mama did everything. Yeah. Marriage counseling was so interesting because we did it with both of our pastors. We were at two different churches, um, and each one brought us. I'm about to ask you the same time, or just I was over here. Well, over here, we did a few sessions with his pastor, yeah. a few oh, sessions okay, okay. with my yeah, pastor. The but they did like different. You know, they had yeah. different takes. My pastor is older. You know, he came from a. You're like, what's the budget? You know, how y'all gonna survive? You know, and then his about? pastor was like, you know, he did something and it broke me down to tears. I remember him asking a question. He was like, okay, let's talk about the reload, the roles in the relationship. He he asked us what our expectations of one another were. He also said like, you know. Let's talk about definitions. What is a husband? What is a wife? And then he asked these questions. What does a mother do? And he said, what does a father do? When it came to what does a father do? I was like, oh, my God. I have no idea. Mm. Like, I, I... I I was sitting there because he gave us a moment to think about it. We we're going to discuss it. And, you know, husband and wife, check, check. You know, that comes from the Bible. Like, boom, right? Mother, you know, I saw my mama do everything. I'm talking about everything. I was like, dang, what does a daddy do? So I sat there. Oh, my God, I want to cry. I want to cry thinking about it. But Calvin went first. I was like, oh, that was a good answer. I should take that. <laughs> I was like, oh, that was good, too. Then he was, all right, now, Kim, what do you have? I was like, I have nothing. What he said. I broke yeah. down crying at that moment. He was like, this is what this is about. I was like, I didn't realize yeah. that, you know, I think that that whole mindset when I said I was a gangster and I came up, I was quite rebellious. And I do feel like part of that stemmed from like um, being raised from a single parent. I remember saying like, I don't want to get married. I didn't want to get married at 16. I, was like, I don't want to get married. I want a baby daddy, but what I need a, a husband for. No I take the kids. <laughs> this is what I said. Daddy. This is my teenager mindset. And But then I heard a sermon um, that changed my mind when there was a pastor at my church who was talking about marriage. And I was like, I guess that's all right. I guess, you know, I yeah. could do that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it had to, he had to change my mind and my thinking. I walked into marriage. I was like, you know, it's like breaking generational curses. Something I had yeah. no, you know, I hadn't been around married people. So I didn't really have examples, you know, of what I'm supposed to do. So yeah. I do feel like we were figuring this thing out as we went, you know. So thank you, Lord. Parents, as a you know? team, though. Yeah. Big facts, big facts, big facts. Yeah. So let everybody know where they can follow you, find you, what you got coming up next. <laughs> I know y'all said y'all got the project. Yeah. Oh, let them know where they could grab some 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 royalty gear, um, all that good stuff. You have a website? Like, yes, we have okay. a website. Yeah. www.thecofields.com. Slow down, spell it. C O F I E L D S. That's Cofields. The so thecofields.com www.thecofields.com that's, nice. that's our website it has all of our previous oh, music on it our music videos and different things like that our previous releases all of our music is available on iTunes and Amazon everywhere the music is distributed or streamed you can also um, get our merchandise our royalty line will be dropping soon you can just hit us up on our website let us know what you want as well as the same for the I Love My Heritage gear there we are it's the Cofield and the website's being updated as that's we tough. speak yeah. yeah, I seen that fro. Mm -hmm. We had a song. <laughs> that latest song that we have on here was the one we did with Canton Jones. It's called Sunday. 
But that video is on here as well. But royalty, the video is coming soon. We're going to be dropping that music video soon. Social media. Our social media, everything is the Cofields. So on Instagram, the Cofields. Facebook, the Cofields. Uh, YouTube page, the Cofields. Yeah. Oh, we need to get that one together, don't we? All right. TikTok, click on the Cofields. I just found out we had a TikTok. I ain't know that. Mm-hmm. So we, we just <laughs> wait, wait, who did y'all TikTok? Yeah, I did. So oh, oh, uh, <laughs> basically, like we've been, we've been because we had our own pages. Yeah, so yeah. now we're kind of rebranding yeah. exactly, putting everything mm-hmm. together. So right now, everything's under the cofields now. Thanks but what's up, man? but what we got coming up, it's it's been a lot since, and I've been telling people like, man, this record is it's, it's been the support behind this has been feeling different. You know, it's yeah, like it is. like we've been getting a lot of support, a lot of a lot of play, a lot of support. You know. But it's it's just been different, and uh, so now we're, we're we're actually in the making uh, talks of tours. Uh, <laughs> the beginnings. You said what? He, he talking about my front. Nice. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The oh. beginnings. That's the twenty. That's the early years, right there. That's how I started naturally. Yeah. So I love my touring. Music. Like I said, our, our clothing lines. Uh, more music. Uh, man, building these relationships. So uh, it's like, man, I thank God for VZ and MC Nice again, because. Uh, Man, it's Viola it's, Davis right there. Boy. It's that Viola <laughs> Davis. <laughs> I was trying to hold it. I was trying. Y'all saw me trying to hold she it. She wanted to come for my natural. I saw you trying to hold it. No, no, that's why I zoomed in. Hey, hey, don't Lord. come for the fro. I was trying don't to hold it. Don't come for the fro. My fro is much longer now. My sister right here with her beautiful fro. That's how my fro looks now, y'all. The growth is real, you know. But yeah, this is our beginning. Look, Calvin didn't have his locks either, you know. That's the beginning. And technically, if you look at that, if you look at that, we were doing the music together before we got married. So those are that was actually our original single, holding us down. Our first single together. That was our first song before Let's Move. To hold it, I was like. Well, he got that. I got to get that out. So, Kimberly Rice and Calvin Cofield, yeah, they were like, y'all names on, y'all ain't got no other name. They started calling us the Cofields <laughs> as we were touring. Oh, wow. So, I was like, okay. I think it was in Atlanta. Yep. They started calling Shout us. Shout out to our uh, bro, DJ Will from Jacksonville. Yep. Ah, DJ Will from Jacksonville. Uh, he was like, bro. the Cofields, the Cofields. Yeah, so, we just said, you know, what if we go by the Cofields? I love there it. There we I are. I love it. I love it, man. So, y'all, y'all enjoyed yourselves? Man, yes. we're in the last, man. This, Y'all this did good weekend. too, you know. You was, uh, <laughs> uh, man, I was on my best behavior. I promise. You were. Can I get a high five for oh, your best course, behavior? Of course, of course. He reached. God bless you. God yeah, bless yeah. you. Wait, I was at his hop. Forget it. Yes, oh, sir. yes. This is the up, club. Bro. His hop. Yes, sir. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. We'd have been around the block a couple times. Isabel I'll Davis. Feel you. I'll feel yeah. you, man. At least the right okay. Yeah. All right, man. Look. It was a pleasure having y'all. Yes, sir. For real, for real. Do it again. Please don't make this be oh, the yeah. last time yeah. y'all pull up. Yes, Listen, sir. next next year, same time, same place. All right, you now we're probably gonna be in a bigger building. All right, now uh, that's good. So it's it's gonna be crazy. Well, next time we get a we it could be a little bit more fun and rather icebreaker. You know. What oh saying? yeah, so, definitely. You said what? Yeah, a little bit more fun, a little bit more turned up than than icebreaker. Ah, you, know, yes, you wanted sir. more sauce. Hey, well, no, it's coming. It's just you know building relationships. I feel you. I feel you. I just yeah. you know. I gotta just, just make sure y'all hit us up when y'all come though. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, anytime, sir. anytime y'all touching down, man. Anytime y'all got anything popping off, whatever the case might be, any new gotcha. music, y'all let us know, man. Yes, any okay. whatever it is, trust yes, me. One thing we do, man, we make sure we um we make sure we tap in and ce- uh, celebrate each yes, other. Sir. Like we gotta right. celebrate everybody in our community. Yeah. Amen. Ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we build a, a fortress around. Our friends, our people, our mm-hmm. like these are all our people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we got the platform. Yes, advertise. Sir. Like we yes, sir. like all all our friends, all yes, our sir. people. Like yes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is family. Like this is what we do. We support mm-hmm. each other. You got a book out, work. Hey. Yes, sir. Like we 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 that's how it has to be. You know yeah, what facts. I mean? Yeah. You gotta For build sure. the community and build the kingdom that way. And mm-hmm. then it'll explode and it's yes, like, sir. yo. Mm-hmm. You start moving in a pack, like you there's nothing you can do. You Man. can't stop us. I tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the Jews mm-hmm. do it. The, Everybody. The, Asians, the Asians They're going to live in One house Ten of them to, to Just to succeed Until all of them Got enough money To branch out right. But we We so The king so And the queen Of this and that And all that type stuff But if we was To support one another Man it's like The connections And everything Is, is endless You know what I'm saying You got your own infrastructure It's been done before It definitely has been done before Yeah 
Facts, so, facts, yeah. facts. Yo, Fresh Leftovers family, man. Make sure y'all tap in with the Cofields. Get the music. Get the merch. <laughs> check the videos out. Yes, sir. Support, support, support. Hit the cash <laughs> app. All that good stuff. Make sure you support what they doing, man. Y'all know how we do it, man. Y'all know what we, we send y'all out there. Y'all make moves. Y'all make it happen. Facts. Thank you. So get it Cofields. done. Com. Get it yes, done. Sir. Get it yeah. done, man. So listen, we're going to check y'all next week, GH3 Nation. We out. God bless y'all.